Hey everybody and welcome back to Misfit Corner Scams. This is the artist known as Andrew speaking. It's time for another scam call. The funny thing about this one is it ended up going so long that uh, halfway through I switched characters. <laughs> I started out as Carl and it was just a normal Medicare scam call and then he transferred me, the guy transferred me to somebody else and all of a sudden I switched into Eugene. <laughs> but I had a fun time with it and uh, I love wasting their time and one of the things I realized when they've either caught on that you're going to screw with them or they realize this isn't going to work, I'm not going to get any valuable information or this person is just insane, what they say is the same thing. They say, I just reviewed your benefits and you have the right benefits. You, you don't need any additional benefits, so keep your plan the way it is and then they disconnect on you. I got him to do that a couple. Got him to do that a couple of times to me today. And it was always fun. Hope you enjoy the call, and believe me, there's many more coming because they do not stop calling, and that's fine. They give me they give me plenty of material for the channel. So hope you enjoy the call, and uh, remember, if you ever get a call like this, either hang up on them or screw with them like I do. It's always fun. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have to pay for any of these additional benefits, nor do you have to make any kind of changes over your existing plan, okay? So okay. Benefits that, yeah, so these benefits that you are eligible to receive are your transportation, copies, your drugs, your prescription cost, as well as your home health care services, okay, as well as your uh, doctor visits, okay? So all of these benefits will be added on to your current plan of Medicare, okay? As well as you may also be eligible to receive the Flex card, which will help you out to purchase your groceries or any over-the-counter items or even if you want to purchase your medical equipment, okay? Okay. Yes. So, sir, I do believe that you have your Medicare Part A and B active, right? Uh, yes, yes, I do. Okay, so that's really great to hear. As well as, sir, uh, do you make your own decisions regarding Medicare insurance? Well, I, I do, of course, in, in consultation with my doctor and, and my, my at-home nurse, but I do make my own decisions. Okay, sir. You're the power of attorney, right, Bert? I, I'm sorry. Do I have power of attorney? I, I don't. No one else has power of attorney over me. Okay, sir. So, uh, okay, so that's really great. Okay. Uh, so, sir. Do you even know, know what a power of attorney is, or did you just hear about it on TV? I know what a power of attorney is. Sir. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, as well as, sir, uh, do you get any kind of a retirement benefits, like any health insurance from a previous employer? No, no, I just have my Medicare. Takes oh, care of me well. Uh, oh, okay, so that's really great to hear as well. And sir, do you get any kind of uh, military benefits, like TRICARE for life? Nope, I was never in the military, so I don't have any of that. Oh, okay, so that's really great to hear. So I'm speaking to Mr. Carl Walter, right, sir? Yes, this is Carl Walters. Oh, okay, so that's really great. So, sir, I have your basic information with me, so just correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Sure. Uh, yes, sir. So, your mailing address that I have with me is 5114 Southeast 41st Avenue, Ocala, Texas, uh, Florida, 34480. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, sir, thank you for that. So, sir, what I'm doing right now is just I'm just uh, filling out a short form for you. So, the form will be helping out the license agent to provide you with all of the details regarding your Medicare insurance on your mailing address, okay? So, he can send all of the details uh, in a written, in a letter format, okay? So, he'll send a letter to you on your mailing address so you can know what benefits that you are receiving, okay? Okay. So, can you just confirm? Yes, sir. So, sir, can you just confirm your date of birth for me? March 1st, 1955. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you for that. Uh, so, sir, uh, you are totally qualified to receive all of these additional benefits, okay? So, what I'm going to do, sir, is that I can help you get connected to a licensed agent, and you can listen to them uh, and see what benefits that they uh, that you are eligible to receive, okay? So you will be knowing whatever benefits that you are eligible to receive for the month of September, okay? Uh, and I'm not telling you to uh, switch over to a different plan, okay? You don't have to worry about anything like that, okay? None of your current benefits will be hindered, okay? So you can keep what you already have and gain uh, new benefits over your current plan of Medicare, okay? 
Yeah, I don't I don't think I can change my Medicare plan right now. It's like it's in the middle of the year. It's September already. Uh, yes, sir. So uh, they, ca- uh, they can't change anything, okay? So they will just add uh, benefits to it, okay? They won't change anything. Well, won't adding benefits be changing your plan? That doesn't make any uh, sense. Yes, sir, but they won't be like switching you over to a different plan. That's what I'm telling you. So you don't have to worry about uh, like being switched over to a different plan and losing out on your current benefits. Oh no, I don't. I don't want to lose my benefits. Absolutely not. Uh, no. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. That, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. So do you? You won't be switched over to a different plan, but you'll be getting new benefits added onto your current plan. That's all. Oh, okay. And this goes into effect for 2022, or is this for 2023? Uh, 2022, sir, so it will be added for you uh, for this month. Well, there's only like four months left in the year, so it's only a benefit for four months? Is that it? Uh, no, sir. So if you want, you can carry it over to the next year as well, okay? Well, what about for all the previous months? What about for January through August? Do I get uh, retro sorry. benefits? Sorry? Do I get retro yeah. benefits for the months that have already passed? I don't know about that, sir, so you'll have to ask the license agent regarding all of those, okay? Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'll just transfer over the uh, call to the li- uh, license agent, okay? But before the license agent, there will be a verification officer just going over the same details like your first name, your last name, as well as your mailing address for you, okay? So that they know I have just sent over the right person, okay? And they can send send you over to the license agent, okay, after that. So I have to repeat this information all over again with somebody else? Uh, no, sir, you don't have to repeat this information. They'll just verify it for you, okay, and they'll just verify your date of birth. So your date of birth is the only thing that they will be asking. Otherwise, all of the other details, uh, they'll be confirming it for you, okay? Okay, so in other words, I got to do this all over again. All right, sounds good. Might as well. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for bearing with me. Okay, sir. Uh, okay. And, sir, you just have to keep your Medicare card handy with you, okay, because the license agent, he'll be requiring it, okay? Oh, I, I, don't, I don't have that on me right now. It's in my wallet. Okay, sir. So, can you grab it for me? I'll stay on the line for you. Oh, you no, that's not, a good, that's not a good idea. My, 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 my at-home nurse holds on to my wallet so I don't get into trouble. I don't think she'd okay, be. Sir, okay, I don't think she'd be willing to give it up to me for this. Matter of fact, I'm not supposed to be talking on the phone right now. I get myself into a lot of trouble when I talk on the phone. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, okay, so that's fine. Since you're not comfortable with sharing your details regarding Medicare card, I won't be posing you anymore. Okay. What so What's your name again? Uh, it's Chris, sir. Chris, how How's the yeah. weather where you're at, Chris? Sorry. How is the weather where you're at? It's raining currently, so. Oh, oh, well, I hear thunderclouds in the back, or thunderstorm, thunder boomers in the background here, so it's going to probably rain soon. Where are you at? Uh, from Tampa, Florida, so. Oh, yeah, you're in Tampa? Tampa? Oh, okay. Well, I'm in Jacksonville. That's, that's, mm-hmm. that's, that's a little ways away from you, but not far. We're close. Yes, sir, yes. Okay. Uh, Okay, sir. Okay, so that's fine. So since this is not an obligation for you, okay, sir, I won't bother you anymore. Okay, uh, that's uh, totally fine. That uh, I, it's I thought you were gonna, you. I thought you were gonna transfer me to the verification agent. Uh, no, sir. So you require to keep your Medicare card, uh, okay, handy with you to speak to the licensed agent because that's the only way they can pull out your information, right? Okay. So if you can't uh, provide them with your medical Medicare information your card information okay so they can't pull out your information with that well i'm sure they can i'm sure they can look me up another way they can look me up by my social security number i mean they've done that before in the past that's not a problem Uh, okay so so you can uh, share your socials with them well yeah of course i know what my social security number is i just don't have my medicare card on me in my Mm -hmm. possession like i told you it's in my wallet Okay, so okay, that's fine. Since you're uh, you're willing to share your socials, I can totally transfer you right now. Okay. Oh, okay. So now you can transfer me. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, sir. Okay. 
Okay, I'll transfer you. I'll uh, introduce you to the verification officer. Okay, sir. Okay. He was going to give up on me and hang up, but I kept him on. Hello, is someone there? Uh, yes, sir, I'm there. I guess they're a bit busy. Oh, uh, just give me a moment. Oh, I'll okay. Again. No problem. Sorry, I just heard the phone ring and I figured somebody was there. No, 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 sir. Uh, one day, you're a uh, single beep when they arrive, the verification. Oh, the verification okay. Office. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line. You'll be transferred to the next available agent. Uh, I, I guess they're a bit busy. Please stay on the line, sir. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm here. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line. You'll be transferred to the next available agent. Well, if it was important, you'd actually answer the phone. <laughs> They just hired 87,000 IRS agents. You'd think they'd add some agents for the Medicare, you know? Yeah. Guess not. Yeah, hey, verification officer, I've got Mr. Carl on the line with me. Can you help him with the additional benefits, sir? Uh, Mr. Carl, I've got Mr. Oliver Green over here, who's a verification officer. Okay. Okay. We'll help you get connected to our license agent. Okay. Okay. Hello. Yes. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. How are we doing today? Oh, very good. What's What's your name, please? Uh, my name is Oliver. So Oliver Green. I'm a verification officer here speaking to you on a record along. Okay. You stated to my representative that you do get Medicare and on your Medicare, so you got Part A and Part B, right? Yes, that's correct. I have Medicare Parts A and Part B. All right. A is for, right. so I think, for you... hospital, or one of them's for hospital and one covers doctors. I have both of them. All right, exactly. All right. Uh, part A is for your hospital and Part B is for your medical, okay? Medical oh, okay. Yeah, I knew, I knew it was one or the other. It was one or the other, but I got both of them. Right. Right. So since you got A and B on your Medicare, today you may be eligible to receive information on your additional Medicare benefits, okay? Okay. These benefits on your Medicare will help you a lot to save you on your dental vision hearing coverage. You may lower down the cost on your co-pays. Your premiums might go up to zero dollar. Transportation rights to take you to a doctor, hospital, pharmacy visits, over-the-counter items and lots more, okay? Basically, this might help you a lot to manage your bills as well as save you some money each month, okay? I got your name out here. Okay. It's called K A R L. Last name is Walter. Yep, that's Address correct. Is 5114 Southeast 41st Avenue, Ocala, Florida. Zip code is 34480, right? Yep, that's correct. Alrighty. Along with your Medicare A and B, do you also get Medicaid? No, I don't have Medicaid. No. Nope. Job? Anything from a previous employer? Nope. Just, know. just, just my Medicare Parts A and B. That's it. All right. And are you a veteran by any chance? Am I a veteran? No. I, I never, I never served in the military. Okay. So you do not get tricare for life. No, no, no. I've heard of that, but I've never had it. Yes. So whatever you try to get on your social security is comparatively very less at the end of the month, right? So these benefits on your Medicare might definitely help you a lot. There are also some special add-on benefits designed for individuals with chronic illness. So do you fall under any chronic illness such as diabetes, heart disease, lung disease, cancer, COPD, stroke, hypertension, high blood pressure, rheumatoid arthritis, any kind of problems? Honestly, I don't. I don't think I have any of those issues. I do. I do. I do have a problem with my memory. I do have a problem with my memory. I often have times have a hard time remembering things. It's one of the reasons why I have an at-home nurse that 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 lives with me and helps take care of me. 
It's not. It's not that I can't okay. go. It's not that I can't go to the bathroom by myself. But sometimes I'll forget to eat food, and she makes sure I'm covered on that. She makes sure I I get my my medications. But I mean, I I can make my own decisions, of course. But I do I do need some help from time to time because I know my name, and if you ask me my date of birth, I know my date of birth. But sometimes if you ask me. What city I live in, I might have to think about it for a minute. It's it's a struggle, but I'm I'm I don't have what 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 what's that that thing that 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 old people thing, Alzheimer's. I think that's it. I'm not di- I wasn't I was never I've I've never been I've never been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, but I'm I'm probably pre Alzheimeric, if that's a word. Alzheimerical, or maybe I don't know. I I don't know what the pre-Alzheimer's definition or word would be, but I'm most likely in that category, pre pre-Alzheimer. So I do have issues with my memory. What what was your name again? That's fine. That's fine. What was your name again? Oliver. Sir. Oliver. Oliver. Oh, oh, okay. I think I I can remember that. I'll try. March first, nineteen fifty-five. All right. All right. And you said that you speak for yourself, right? You make your own healthcare decisions. Well, I, I was I was telling the other guy that I do make my own decisions. Of course, I I do consult with my doctor, of course, and I do also consult with my with my my nurse i'm not when it comes to medical things it's i'm not 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 the i'm not the brightest person but i do get help and i do make my own decisions all right so now call uh, what i will do here i'll be quickly get you connected to the licensed agent they will just talk to you for the next 10 15 minutes about all your benefits okay oh i'm going to talk to somebody else okay cool i like talking to people I'm not. I'm not supposed to talk right, on the phone. Uh, I'm not supposed to talk on the phone, but I, I like it when people call and I get to talk to them. It. It. I, honestly, honestly, sir, it is a highlight of my day when I get to talk to people. Cause you all are so nice, and I appreciate it. All right. So now to put all those missing benefits for you on your Medicare card, do you have your Medicare card handy with you right now? Well, well, I was, I was, I was, I was telling the other guy that my my Medicare card is in my wallet, and my nurse, her name's Mary, she's a wonderful lady. She holds on to my wallet. She holds on to it so I don't get in trouble. But you want to know a secret? You want to know a secret? One, one, one of the reasons why she holds on to my wallet is so I don't accidentally give my credit card number out to people who call me on the phone. But I memorize my credit card number. I know it. I know it from start to finish. I do not know my Medicare number. I'm sorry. I never memorized that one. I know it's got numbers and letters in it. It's very confusing. But I know my credit card number. Just don't tell Mary. I do. I know it. But I don't know. I don't. I don't know my Medicare. I know it starts with like a nine. Do, do they start with nine? And then there's letters. I remember there was letters. Nine letters, oh, letters, right. something like something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even if you're not able to uh, get your Medicare card out from your nose, a license agent can still help you out with the, with the help of your social security number. Oh, perfect. Do you remember the nine digit of your social security number? The nine digits? I, I believe so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I, I, know, I, I know my social security number. I'm pretty sure I, I know that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. That's where it starts with three numbers, then has two in the middle, and then ends in four. Four numbers. Is that right? It's not like a phone number. It's it's, but it's it's a. I, I am familiar with my. I, I do know my social security number. I do know that. I can do that. All right. So you can, you just have to 
share your nine-digit social security number with the license agent, okay? Okay, perfect. I can do that. You can put all this I can do that. Thank you. Thank thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. How how's how how Oliver? How's the weather where you live in? All right. So uh, right now, sir, I see here you are with the best benefits. Okay. Stay with the benefits that you got. What we will do here, we will try to reach you back in the month of October during the annual enrollment period. Okay. You oh, so of your health and God bless you. so I'm not going to get the additional benefits. Is that what you're telling me? Right now, the benefits that you got, you are with the best benefits. Stay with the benefits that you got. We will try to reach you back in the month of October during okay. the annual enrollment period. Okay, okay. but you take care. but take there care. was there were some benefits that he listed. I know I don't have. <laughs> oh no! Did you leave, Oliver? Oliver? Dang. Oliver left me. Chris left me, then Oliver left me. I was, I was, I was really hoping to talk to the insurance person, but we wasted their time a little bit. Actually, I switched characters and I became Eugene. <laughs> oh well, maybe next time. Hey everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, and we'll catch you all next time.